Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Kirby Gatto. Welcome to today. It is an amazing day. I wanted to come on here briefly and just encourage and strengthen you in the word of truth in relation to God's grace. Oh my goodness, this is beyond wild. The very exact car tag, G-R-A-C-3, which is for grace that I saw yesterday and took a picture of yesterday. That exact car tag on a different vehicle four years ago, earlier, 2020, is in my Facebook memories today. G-R-A-3 for grace, the exact tag. So, obviously, they got a new car. But, y'all, this is just absolutely beyond crazy. Good morning, Dina. I also see Kathy. Good morning to y'all. Thank you for joining in. And Bobby, God bless y'all. Thank you for joining in. But y'all, I just had to come on here. Oh my goodness. The Holy Spirit just keeps speaking about grace. And what's crazy is I was at that exact editing spot the night before seeing that tag yesterday. I cannot tell you what the power of God's grace is doing in this hour. It is beyond what you can think. It is beyond what you can imagine. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what you can think or imagine according to that power of his grace and operation inside of you. Some of you are in circumstances and you just don't think you're going to be able to get out. You feel like you're drowning. But let me tell you about the God of grace. The God of grace brings sufficiency, power, ability in that place and brings his peace to guard your heart. You have to keep your eyes off the things of the world and keep your eyes on things above. Let me tell you what, whatever mountain is in front of you, as in Zechariah 4, the mountain that was in front of the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, the prophet was instructed by God himself. Tell him that people will be have shoutings of grace, grace, grace. And the mountain that has been before the people will be a molehill. That mountain represents and is a metaphor in Zechariah 4 for spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. And what does that mean? It means things in the invisible realm that are pulling on your members that are almost ping-ponging you back and forth, wearing you out. That is spiritual warfare. But how many of you know that greater is Christ Jesus in us than he that is in this world? Do not let the enemy try to interrupt your timeline and steal your peace. You have to breathe and stay in shalom and not react, but act in accordance with truth, which is God is going to move you forward. And no matter what circumstance it is, he's going to move you forward in peace. Peace is your compass. Amen. So you be encouraged to have a great Memorial Day weekend. We're going to just continue to rejoice in the Lord always because of the good things he has done. And no matter what mountain is in front of you, saints, God's grace is sufficient. Amen. His grace is louder than the powers of darkness attacking you and your family. Breathe and hold on to grace and be in peace. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I love you. Have an amazing day.